So there are obviously people who benefited a great deal from um, liberalization of the economy, more investment opportunities. But that is a very small number of people. And uh, what has also happened in India, you know, it's still primarily a rural country. Most of the population still lives in villages. And a large percentage of that population is dependent, has been dependent upon agriculture. And agriculture has, has suffered a kind of uh, stagnation in recent years. Um, so there have been some horrific statistics, for instance, coming out of India, like 180,000 farmers committed suicide in the last decade or so. Um, so when you look at those statistics, I think the whole question of who is actually benefiting from this economic boom in India, those questions become very pertinent. And I think it is a very important question to ask, but the co answer is, has to be very complicated because obviously, you know, there are very visible signs of wealth in the Indian cities, even in some smaller Indian cities, you see you know, shopping malls everywhere and you see people kind of indulging in a kind of brand name consumption they wouldn't have indulged in even five years ago. Um, and that persuades a lot of people into thinking, oh, you know, this country is, a, as Foreign Affairs magazine put it, a roaring capitalist success story. But, you know, it's, it's, it's simply not true because, you know, once you sort of go beyond, beyond behind these glossy surfaces, you find uh, really um, uh, still sort of levels of destitution that you find in sub-Saharan Africa. So uh, I, I do think we have to move away from this rhetoric about you know, India being this great economic success story and actually look at what has happened to large numbers of Indians in the last 10 years or so. You know, what is going on, whether even this kind of economic growth which is so dependent on the services sector, uh, whether that is sustainable, whether that is enough to create enough employment, which is a huge problem in a country as populous as India, whether it's creating enough jobs and whether we are creating enough skilled manpower. I mean, there's so many questions that haven't been asked or if they've been asked, they haven't been sufficiently you know, investigated.